Guys, look how cute our decorations are for our apartment. We love Christmas. Um, as you can tell, I'm literally obsessed with these. I'm gonna be doing an apartment tour soon. I don't know when, um, probably, in, probably this week or next week, but I mean, y'all have pretty much already seen like the majority of my apartment, but I'm gonna be doing it soon. I'm about to go to Culver's and get some food. I think after that, after I get off work, I'm gonna go to Target and get some stuff for dinner tonight. I'm gonna try and cook for you guys. So also, I don't know if you guys see, but I went to the nail salon last night and I got new nails because yeah, the other ones were just not it. Guys, I don't know if there's a storm coming or what, but it is way too warm for November. Okay, so I just got off of work. I'm here at Walmart. I think I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight because I don't know if I really want tacos. So yeah, I'm gonna bring y'all on my grocery shopping vlog. I don't know how much I'm gonna get. I think I'm just gonna get dinner for tonight probably and then I have to get a few more other things. But yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I get inside. I don't know how it got so cold all of a sudden because it was literally warm like three hours ago. But yeah, I think I'm going to make spaghetti and then probably make some as like a salad to go with it because a salad just sounds really good right now you know okay i think i'm gonna get this baby spinach because usually i eat spinach when i eat salad so i'm gonna get this and then some other stuff to put in it this is my favorite type of no not this 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 is my favorite type of spaghetti so i'm gonna get the thin spaghetti definitely not gonna cook the whole thing but i'm gonna cook some of it because it's two pounds so i'm gonna get this and then i just need some spaghetti sauce i don't know what spaghetti sauce to get i kind of want like an orange sauce the vodka sauce is really good it's not really spaghetti though I'm gonna get this orange sauce just because it's really good and I've had it before. And I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some mozzarella cheese to go with it because it's my favorite. Okay guys, I don't know if this is set up right, but I'm gonna try doing this as best as I can. This is my roommate in the background. Hey, I don't think you've been in any of my I don't vlogs. think I've been in any vlogs yet. Yeah, this is our first one on my channel. Guys, I literally got two pounds of this. I didn't show you all this, all of my food but I'm doing, I'm cooking this like lobster this thing. And I'm gonna have chips to go with it. I'm gonna start by making the spinach and then I'm gonna cook after. Guys, look how good this looks. I'm gonna put it in the bowl and then try it with all right. these chips. All right, pull it down. This is actually really good. Sorry, what? This is good. This is so good. Okay. I rate that an eight out of ten. Shit time. 
rate it. <laughs> it was so good. Wow, this is really good. I added so much cheese. Um, I don't know. I forgot. It's in there. I forgot what it's called. It's so good though. This is so good. So I'm gonna do a Q and A while I eat, and then I'm gonna end the video because usually all my videos are short. I think I asked you all like a week ago. Yeah, it was like a week ago. Just to do like a Q&A, ask me questions. I'm gonna answer some of these for y'all. Someone said, do you still do original wearing? I'm gonna be honest. I took a break from original wearing because I wanted to focus on school. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not doing that good in school, so maybe I should focus more on original wearing. Um, if y'all don't know what that is, it's a clothing line that I started like a year and a half ago. And I started it because I've always wanted to have my own business, but I kind of slowed down with it, took a break from it because I just I didn't have time to like post consistently every day and I had the thing that annoyed me about my business is I would constantly like ask people to model my clothes and half of the time I just I couldn't rely on them because they would like for for not show up and part of that is my fault for like not having a set schedule but each time I did schedule something it just bad things happen it didn't go as planned so, but I am gonna start back in March and I am gonna start using mannequins to put my clothes on because I've seen a lot of girls that have clothing lines just use mannequins, they don't use actual models. And I find that more efficient because you can literally just take pictures, put clothes on them, take pictures in it and get like a white backdrop. That's probably what I'm gonna start doing. And I honestly literally can't wait. I'm gonna have like two or three mannequins that I'm gonna use. I feel like that's gonna be a lot more easier for my business. And I was also in a position where I was not able to pay them. And I think that's another reason why they didn't take it as serious because they weren't getting paid. So, and I completely understand that. If you have a small business and you're not in the position to pay for this or pay for that because you're putting all of your money towards investing in clothes, then there's definitely other ways to work around that and that's i kind of had to like figure that out the hard way so i would recommend if i were you to not always rely on other people to help your business grow find different ways to help it grow and that's something i've had to learn but yes i am going to start probably back in march or april with the spring collection i'm super excited i am in the process of updating my website as well so y'all will see that soon it's gonna be way better than it was the past year i promise what is your major i majored in business admin because i mean it kind of goes with my business i didn't really know what i was gonna major in until i actually figured out what i wanted to do and honestly that may change in the next year because i don't enjoy school at all i hate it i'd rather be like someone go into the entertainment industry. I obviously still am gonna get my degree, but I think for now, I'm kind of just like taking time to do YouTube and school. So I'm still trying to like figure that out. How did you start original wearing? This is gonna be a question for a separate video because a lot of people have asked me to do a video just on how to start a business. And I feel like I get this question asked so much. If you literally go on YouTube, you can find so many different videos on how to start a business. And that's literally the first thing I did when I wanted to start Original Wearing. So, but I know a lot of people see like videos and it's like not enough information or it's like too much information. They're just overwhelmed by it. So. I'll definitely do a video on like my opinions on it and the easiest ways to start. I don't think I'm gonna do that for a while, but I am gonna like tie in original wearing and why I started it with that business video. So that's probably gonna be 
for a separate video. Okay guys, I had to charge my camera because it died while I was filming. But I'm gonna answer like three more questions and then probably end the video. A lot of people asked me this and it's what is some advice for a person going into college or starting college? Um, honestly, when I went into college, I kind of just got like through it. I just went on my own. I lived with three girls my freshman year. And one of them I think was a junior at the time. I had asked her like a bunch of different questions and she pretty much like helped me out. Living with an upperclassman definitely helped. I would say just show up to all of your classes, do your work obviously, email your professors because they're gonna want to get to know you and you're gonna wanna know them and the type of professor they are. So I definitely say emailing them Get like people's numbers that are in the class and make a study group because I mean y'all are obviously working on the same work and if you don't know how to do a problem or something you have an exam coming up and they're probably going to know how to do it and it'll help you 10 times more than trying to go home and just like figuring it out on your own and I wish I would have done that more but the times I did do it, it literally helped 100%. So I would definitely say get study groups. Definitely know the deadlines and do them before the deadline because they're more than likely not going to extend them. It's pretty, it's pretty basic going into it. I mean, if you're good at school, then you're going to be fine. If you're horrible at school, but your parents are making you go to college like mine did, then just get some, get a tutor. What clothing stores do you shop at? I pretty much just shop online now. I don't go to any um, in-store clothing places. I used to, when I was in high school, I would literally only go to boutiques. And that's like the last place I would go now. Just because my style has changed so much. Now I go to, I would say Shein. I think every, I don't know if it's Shein or Shein, but every girl I know shops on there because they have cute, affordable clothes and I think it's so cute. My clothing brand, Original Wearing, I have um, a vendor that I specifically go to and the majority of the time I just wear Original Wearing clothes because I only pick out stuff I like and I mean, I'm not gonna sell clothes to customers that I wouldn't wear myself. So that's why the majority of the time I do wear just original wearing clothes. What are you doing after you graduate? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. That's a great question. Honestly, I will probably, I'm, I know I'm moving back to Huntsville, but I mean, I really don't know what job I want. I'm just gonna see where it takes me, honestly. Do you still do music? No, I don't do music anymore. Um, I still like write some R&B songs. The reason why I stopped is because I kind of just got bored of it. Like halfway through writing a song, I would like it. And I'm just too picky. I like it for like two days. And I'm like, this is like the worst thing I've ever heard. Even when I record, like when my boyfriend records me, I literally make, remake, make him redo it like 20 times because I don't like how it sounds. And then we get in an argument and he's like, you sound great. And I'm like, no, I don't like, so I don't know. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. Like I just, I don't know. I'd rather listen to music than record music if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't do music anymore and I don't plan on doing it. That may change in the future. And I have one more question. What made you want to start YouTube? I wanted to start YouTube because I mean, I've just been, I've wanted to do it since like my sophomore year of high school. I just never was able to get a, a camera. And now that I have one, it kind of just, I don't know. I love watching YouTube and I enjoy it. Like I literally, I found myself watching YouTube every single day after I, like when I was cheering and I'd get home from cheer practice, I would eat dinner and watch YouTube. Like I love YouTube. So I was like, maybe I should just start a YouTube because I like it so much. So I started a YouTube. I didn't know what type of content I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do vlogging because I used to vlog on Snapchat. Like I would just be like, just post random shit on Snapchat. And 
then I was just like, I mean, if I'm, if I like doing this so much on Snapchat, as dumb as it sounds, I might as well get an actual camera and just vlog on YouTube. So yeah, that's how I started it. I definitely recommend getting a camera. Mine is the G7X Canon. I ordered mine online. I got like a little package deal. I like it so far. I mean, I don't have anything to complain about, but yeah, it's fun. I like it. But yeah, that's pretty much why I started. I don't know. I don't ever want to stop doing YouTube. I feel like it's something I'll want to continue doing down the road. And I think it's just a great way to like show like different accomplishments, like from like where you are now to like five years from now, you can look back at that videos and like see how far you've come. I definitely am looking forward to doing that because I don't know. I just feel like I have so much that I haven't done yet that I really want to do. And I really don't know where life is going to take me in the next five to 10 years. So yeah, it's a great way to look at it like that. If you guys like seeing Q and A's or cooking videos, let me know and I'll do some more. I really didn't know where this video was going to end. Like I usually don't with any of my videos, but if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to like and give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video.